All right. Yo, what is up, guys? I am your host, Benny, and welcome back to JXT channel, where we cover all the sneaker-related content and bring it to your screen. And for all of you who is new to the channel, please smash that like, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon as well to get all the updates on the upcoming content. It's been a while since the last video is uploaded. I am so sorry for the delay. Since the weather in Thailand is really crazy now, it's raining all the time, the lightning condition is really bad. So first of all, let me give a shout out to good folks over at 24 Kilates Bangkok. The release went really smoothly for these shoes. I managed to get my size. That's why we have these videos and we got to take a look at this shoe closely and in details. 24 Kilates is one of the boutiques out here in Thailand that worth checking out if you are visiting. They got a wide range of products from sneakers, clothing, accessory, etc. So if you're planning to visit Bangkok, Thailand and you want to get something for your holiday shopping, make sure to check them out. I will leave the link to the store down in the description. And with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at these shoes right here. The latest collaboration between Salehi Bembury and Crocs. This is the Sasquatch Clocks Pollux Clock. As usual, let's take a look at the box of the sneaker itself. And as you guys can see, these shoes came in this cardboard box. We have the sole of the sneakers imprinted on top of the lid. On the side, we also have the Crocs logo with Salehi Bembry on the bottom. And along the long side of the box, we have the name of the shoe, which is quite a tongue twister, Clocks Pollux Clock. And now let's take a look at the box level. We have Salehi Bembry X, the Pollux Clock in black colorway. And now let's take a look at the shoe itself and as you guys can see from the last review of the Pollux Clock in Crocs green colorway, these shoes is the same exact shoes but in black. So as the name stated, he took the inspiration from the Sasquatch and make the shoe all black. However, every single toolings and things in here is the same as every Pollux Clock that came out recently. So what we have here is the foam shoe that inspired by the thumbprint pattern create these crevices all over the uppers. Although the shoe is all black, but the semi-gloss finishes on the upper make it catches the light really nicely. So as you guys can see on the upper of the shoe, we have all of these openings for ventilation from the side, the top of the toe box, and even little holes on the heel which will keep your feet nice and dry in the summer, but definitely not a good choice to wear these in the winter months. And now moving to the back portion of the shoe, we have this reinforced heel strap, which provide more stability for your foot and keep your foot locked in, preventing it from slipping out of the shoe. And now moving on to the bottom, and as you guys can see, this shoe is not just a regular foam shoes from Crocs. We have two panels of rubberized material, one on the heel, and another one on the forefoot, which actually wrapped up around to cover your toes on the toe box. These two rubberized panels will provide more traction to the shoe and also increase the longevity in terms of durability of the sneaker itself. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about this Pollux Clock in Sasquatch colorway. There's not a lot to be seen, but definitely a really interesting one to take a look at. And with all of that out of the way, the only thing left that I can show you guys is how these shoes look on feet. Now let's go. Oh, hold up, hold up. One more thing about the sizing and fit. These shoes, I guess I would say go through the size. A lot of people say you need to go half size down. I don't think so. On the green pair, I went with my true size, which is size nine, because I usually go up half a size in Jordan 1 and full size in Air Maxes. I went with my true size, size nine, wearing a socks, a regular socks, not even the elite socks. And my feet is quite comfortable in size nine. Have a little wiggle room, but my toe definitely touching the front of the shoe already. I would imagine if it go down a size, it would fit nice without the socks. But thing is, I don't know, I am not comfortable wearing any sneakers or even the clock shoes without socks. So if you want to get these shoes and wearing it barefoot, you might be able to go down a size, I guess. But if you want to wear it with socks like me, stick to your true size.
right guys and that is it for today's review i hope you guys enjoy the time here i hope you guys enjoy the content i provide and if you love what you see here today please hit that like subscribe to the channel leave the comments let me know what you guys like about the shoe would you cop would you drop let me know down in the comment section and if you have any question related to the shoe or the sizing you want me to give you an input on the shoe itself let me know as well i am here to help and i am happy to answer every single question you have with all of that being said i hope to see you guys next time i'll catch you later peace out guys